remember that a sequence is an ordered list of numbers. So one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. Is that amazing sequence called the odd numbers, right? And if we were going to record this, refresh my memory. I'm just, I'm just struggling. I'm flustered. I'm on camera, right? So how on earth would we record something like this? Like in a way that people could recreate it? Yeah. Or let's say I want to know what the 400th term is. Is there a way that I could record it so I could figure out the 400th term without filling up the board? You can make a formula. Ooh, I can make a formula. That is a great idea. We um, have to find the common difference between all of them. Okay, so um, by common difference, I think we're referring to the difference between the first and the second term. I usually draw arrows like that. So how would I get the difference between these two? You subtract one. Okay, I could subtract. So the difference here is three minus one, or two. And then the difference here, notice five minus three is two, and so what you end up with is you end up with a common difference of two all the way down. Okay, so now once I have my common difference, what am I going to do? You need to know what your first term is or in the series, or in the sequence. I need to keep track of that first term, and then I'll say the nth term in sequence A is what? A1, which is one. A1, that first term. Plus. plus D, which is two. Plus, I need to add a certain number of common differences. So to get out to, say, the fifth term, I start with the first term, and then I have to add common differences to get out to the fifth term. How many common differences do I, do I put in to get to the fifth term? Four. 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 How many do I put in to get to the nth term? N minus one. N minus one. Perfect. So that is a description of the sequence in what we call closed form because it would be really easy to say, well, what's that 400th term? A 400. So in closed form, what we say is a n 